Hey everybody, this is Two Boys, One Brain Cell. I'm Chuck Beeson, that's Joel Norton, and we're here for another reaction for you. And we're going to listen to Dare to Love Me by Avril Lavigne. Hell yeah, bud. You, uh, you just want to jump right in? Absolutely. It's just another song off the Love Sucks album. Yeah, we're, what, maybe two more songs left or a song? It's got to be close. It's really close. And though. I'm excited. Because you can finally listen to it all the way through. Oh yeah. How long have you been waiting? Like a month? Uh, about, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's send it, bud. It's been hard. If you dare to love, if you dare to love me. If you dare to love, if you dare to love me. I try to let down my guard, but I cover up my scars. Yeah, there's no denying it's not that I don't care, it's just I'm fucking scared It's terrifying, cause I know it's a slippery slope But I don't wanna give up hope, damn Why's it gotta be this hard just to open up my heart? So don't tell me that you love me if you don't mean it Don't say another damn word if you don't believe it only tell me if you care, tell me if you care, tell me if you care about me. Only tell me if you dare, tell me if you dare, tell me if you dare. If you dare to love me. If you dare to love me. I've been going. Thread the needle on that one. Well played. Yeah. All right. So what do you think so far, dude? Um, It's different. Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit of a ballad. Another you know, nice song. song that is different on this album. Yeah. There's definitely the, uh, I mean, kind of separating them here on this album, and it's like, you know, you have your pop punk typical sound, yep. and then you have your slow down songs like this. And there's a few of those. And then you go to, uh, they have a few experimental ones, too, on here. Because there's that oh, one yeah. that sounded like kind of a club beat. Yeah. There's the one that sounded like Blink-182. <laughs> yep. And Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's a nice little mix-up. Uh, I do agree. I saw someone commented, and they said uh, they thought the last album had, like, the biggest, the most, showed the most range for her. Yeah. And I would agree with that. Um, I wasn't a giant, the biggest fan of it, the last album, but it, it wasn't bad. It just didn't stick with me, if that makes sense. I enjoyed it when I was listening to it, and then kind of moved on. Never really went back. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure if I even heard that one. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, it was maybe two, three years ago. Yeah, but yeah. So th this is this is definitely a little bit step back for the most part. Uh, you can definitely see more elements of her original sound. Yeah, in these. Yep. As well as mixing with that new pump, pop punk sound. Uh, yeah, and you hear that highly okay placement. With that, fuck. It's highly okay. Yeah. You realize you have people now commenting, hey, this song has a fuck in it. <laughs> I love it. Just for you. So like, maybe we'll attract his Hell interest. Hell yeah. Yeah. They, they know what you want, Chuck. Yeah, Thank they you. do. <laughs> I want well-placed fuck. That one, it was okay. We've had some pretty good well-placed ones. Yeah, we have. You want to finish this one out? Absolutely. All right. Nice, slow song, and here you are ruining it with... Now that we've had enough fucks today. <laughs> You understand, stay 
All right. What did you think, Chuckles? That was um interesting. Yeah, uh, definitely I, different. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, nice, like I said, nice swap up for the album. Yeah. Um, I'm probably going to sit with 6.2 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Uh, and this makes my playlist for me. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a 5.6. And uh, I think it would make a playlist. Not my primary, but a playlist for L- sure. A little too slow for your primary? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. I really don't have much else to add about it. I mean, it's, it was a nice little uh, ballad, uh, you know. It was very straightforward. Yeah. We we knew what she was trying to say. Yeah, absolutely. Um, anything else you want to add, bud? No, that was it for me. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed our reaction, uh, do us a favor. Hit like and subscribe. And uh, until next time, this is Joel Norton, Charles Beeson. And uh, that was Avril. Peace out, guys.